there is nothing that would prepare you. That feeling of, this is it, you're going to die. I looked at her, I just held her close and I cradled her in case I got shot, if there was a chance that she'd make it. And I held his hand and I told him, I love you. It had started out a beautiful day. Turnout exceeded expectations for the East FM radio station children's cooking competition. Alim and Sima Manji are the station's popular husband and wife presenting team. The kids are just running around in their little aprons, chopping up. We heard a series of gunshots. We called everyone to the corner, all the kids and the mums and the parents and everyone. And we said, get down, get down, get down on the floor. And just as we did that, <coughs> the gunmen tossed a grenade uh, to where we were. The blast sent slivers of shrapnel and glass into Alim's eye. The guy with the white shirt spoke first and he said, um, we're from Somali and uh, we don't normally kill women yeah. and children. But then again, you've killed our women and children. His like colleague next to him. Thin, tall, skinny face, he, black scar. He just opened fire. fire. I got shot here. I had so much blood everywhere. I thought she was dead and I was holding a dead baby. They decided to take their chances and confront the gunmen. I am a Muslim um, and I went up to him and I said the, the shada and he asked are you Muslim and I said yes I am and um, she was behind me with the baby and he said is that your woman? I said yes. The storm of emotion so many here are going through is still so raw. Janet Mukali's husband worked at the supermarket in the mall. As she cradles her granddaughter, she tells us how she joined the crowd that were waiting outside. She was hoping to find her husband. She didn't. But I hope, because I do pray this life. There are so many who have not yet been accounted for, possibly including some survivors. Janet clings to the hope that her husband is one of them. They'd been married since she was 24. He's the love of my life. And she doesn't want to imagine what he might be going through right now. She's heard more than her share of horror stories from those who escaped. The Manji's radio station colleague Rula Adita Sud, seven months pregnant, was killed in the attack. Rila was standing at the counter and she's like, oh, my baby's kicked. So Jasmine, and she's like, oh, sh your baby must be hungry. So I told her, sit down, and I gave her the other banana. They say the mall massacre had nothing to do with religion. Our religion preaches peace, understanding, and humanity. My husband's Muslim. I'm not. My daughter is Muslim, and I want her to grow up to be a good Muslim. Wolf, it's eerily calm where we are here tonight, just around the corner from the Westgate Mall. Conflicting messages coming out from the government about exactly how many gunmen may be inside and, of course, what the fate of the remaining hostages could be people here really hoping that this is going to be over soon and the Red Cross is saying that there are 65 people that are still missing or unaccounted for.